All right, Jacob, I want to get you this video of Ezra. So today we're out in the front yard working on a heel position. Uh, uh sit. Good girl. So I know what the daycare said Ezra has some aggression problems, and that's kind of why you wanted to get her into training. While I don't think she really has aggression issues, she does have reactivity and hyperactivity issues. So she loves to play, and the way she plays can really, really come off as aggression. She gets pretty into it. She, she's very dominant. She likes to be in charge. So that can quickly turn into a fight. So I can kind of see where the daycare was a little bit concerned with her. Um, and with those things, I mean, they are two things to be concerned about, but they definitely are things that you can watch for, you can prevent, and you can manage. So what we're running into, uh, uh sit girl with the heel and the focus work and just getting her to pay attention to me in a heel position so when I say heel this is heel position I want her head and shoulders in line with my leg and it's a position in motion so this technically isn't heel when I say Ezra heel and I start walking that is a heel position heel good and she has to follow me whatever direction I go good so if I turn this way good girl good and what we're running into is that she gets very very distracted as we sit by anything so she really has to pay attention we're really working on her focus and her engagement sit in that heel position good girl and what this training is really all about good girl is building a better relationship between dog and owner so I want her to understand that whoever's holding this leash whoever's giving her commands she has to listen to and that's going to be part of the transition period when she comes home is you getting her used to all these new rules, all these boundaries, and really gaining a good relationship with her to where she understands you and she trusts you. Because what we're, what we're running into with Ezra is that she doesn't really trust anybody. She's never had a human stand up for her, help her understand that if she just listens and trusts in them, that nothing's going to happen to her. So she's just felt the need to react on her own. So she sees a bird, a dog, a human, and she just wants to go after them, whether or not it's out of malice. It might just be out of wanting to say hello, wanting to play. It comes off as aggression because she's so intense in her actions. So I want her to understand that when we're in a heel position and we're walking, she really just has to pay attention to that heel. She has to pay attention to where she is in relation to me and where we're going. Now we have a dog out with her because she does get distracted by other dogs she wants to say hi she wants to play she wants to check them out or she's not sure what they are going to do to her so either way when a dog comes out ezra stops paying attention to me so we want to work her around dogs so that she understands dogs are going to be there but you do not have to engage with them in any way you just have to make sure that you're listening to me and you're obeying what i tell you to do and we've also found out that she gets a little bit more excited about dogs that are on leash. So that just means we're going to go for more walks. We're going to work, good girl, yeah. We're going to work on her heel position on those walks. And we're just going to really, really help her learn how to focus. Good job, Ezra. So she's in a sit command right now. Everything we do is an implied stay. That means I tell her sit and she stays there until further notice. If I want to let her know she can move, I just wait for her to give me eye contact. I say the verbal word okay, and I use my body language to guide her out of the command. So since she didn't get the eye contact or the body language, she heard me say okay, but she didn't get the other two parts of the formula, she isn't going to move. And I don't want to do anything to request her eye contact. I don't want to call her name or make noises or anything. The most I can do is just move around her. Oops, sit. Sit. And when you move, the dog will either break the command or they'll kind of look at you wondering why you're moving around them and they're not moving too. So if you get in, if the dog breaks the command, then you can get in a correction and you help them understand, sit, that without the three parts of the formula, they aren't allowed to move. Good girl. So we have this dog walking around her and that's why she keeps breaking. She wants to know what that dog is doing. She doesn't want to be in a sit command for too long. Good girl. And as long as she maintains her command, I'm not going to worry too much about what she does. Unless, good girl, unless she gets too intense in her stare. So I don't want her to fixate on this dog. So right now, leave it good. Good girl. So she's kind of fixating on this. 
this dog. She was staring at them, at this dog, and wasn't looking away. And to me, that tells me that her intent is starting to become not good. She's starting to think about making bad decisions. So I simply tell her, leave it, and I give her a little e-collar correction. Good girl. Good job, Ezra. Okay, yep. Good, so she gave me that eye contact. I gave her the verbal word as well as body language. Yep. Good, and now we're just gonna heal. So now we're adding movement to the to the picture. I want her to understand, oh, yep. That even when we're moving, she still has to be obedient and she still has to ignore that dog. So that dog's still over there and I want her to understand, oh, heel. Good. I want Ezra to understand that she really just has to focus on me. Good girl. Good. So she's doing really, really well. She's maintaining this heel position. She's paying attention to where I'm going and she's changing direction with me. Good girl. Good job. Ezra, sit. Good. Oops, sit. Good job. So every time I stop walking, I want to ask for a sit. It'll become automatic. It'll become a thing that she just does because she knows that I'm either one, going to ask for it, or it's kind of a sign that she's paying attention to me. So if she stops walking when I stop, then I really know she's paying attention to that heel position. Ezra, heel. Good job. Good. Good, so you kind of saw her check in. That dog was moving over there. And she noticed it, but she went straight back to just walk, you know, looking forward, paying attention to that heel position. Yep. Good girl. And when we're in heel, I don't want her sniffing. I don't want her doing anything other than focusing on the position. Good job. Oh, heel. Good. And her ears are very, very telling. As soon as those ears pop up, she's no longer paying attention to that heel position. Good. So that's my opportunity to change directions and test her. Good girl. Ezra, sit. Sit. Good job. So, so far she's doing awesome. It's a long video, sorry about that, but there's a lot of information that we need to cover and there's a lot of things that we need to cover with Ezra. So, she's doing really, really well um, and she's improving every day. So, we'll talk to you next week.